Listen up. The rendezvous point is the shingle at the top of the beach. Use those, those defilades and keep moving. Do not stop until you reach the shingle. Clear the ball! Go! 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 Yes, sir. We have to silence those 88s. Sergeant, round up your men. All right, listen up. First squad, prepare to move out. Engineers, engaging the enemy! Move! That does it. 88 battery destroyed. Excellent job, men. Sergeant Conti, get on the radio. Tell HQ our draw is clear for the tanks to come ashore. Secure the perimeter and dig in. Inform Dog Company that we are in position and waiting for them to come ashore. Seven hundred men died that morning on that uh, tiny strip of sand. Another fifteen hundred wounded. Three hundred missing, dragged into the waves. Pearson, Williams, Krasinski. All good men.
By sunset, over 156,000 men had come ashore. The invasion had begun. Or, as my CEO used to say, hell opened its gates. The night before, the largest airborne operation in history dropped three divisions of paratroopers behind enemy lines. And their objective was to seize major roadways and prevent a counterattack that could jeopardize the entire invasion. Success on D-Day depended entirely on these men. Dann fressen es unter aller Kanone. Ich werde diesen Fressen nicht essen. Bin ich deine Mutter, Arschloch? Dann koch doch dein eigenes Fressen. Now, we're scattered all to hell. We have to silence that anti-aircraft gun. Let's move out. Secured from here to Omaha Beach. Hope Abel Company appreciates what we've done for him, sir. They will, Sergeant Kuroda. They will. The airborne landings were scattered all across their drop zones. Units were separated. It was chaos. It took some men three days to find their outfits, and some, some were never found. But even so, they took the Germans completely by surprise and secured all roads to the beaches. Their next objective was the crossroad town of Carantan that linked Omaha and Utah beaches.
To prevent the Axis from driving a wedge between the Allied beachheads, the town of Carantan must be captured. We will approach from the north and move into the center of town. The church is our first objective. Once we take the church, it'll serve as our field HQ. Now, we expect the 6th Fallschirmjager Regiment to fanatically defend the town square. When we secure the square, Carantan will be under our control. I'm telling you, Yankees and Cubs, Game 1, 38 World Series, Lefty Gomez was the winning pitcher. Hey, Lewis, aren't you a lefty too? So who do you think it was? Yeah, I don't know, roughing maybe? Oh, great, I love a man with conviction. Well, hell, I don't know. My kid brother would, though. He's a damn baseball encyclopedia. I guess being dull runs in the family. Ain't that right. All right, pipe down and spread out. And keep your eyes open, people. We're entering enemy territory. Covering! Second floor! Wasting ammo. The war's not over. That was a nice year. Want some? <laughs> Wait your turn. Hey, hey! Huh? I'm gonna assume that's grape juice, Sergeant. Absolutely, sir. Grape juice. Well, it was grape juice about a year ago. <laughs> What do you see? I got movement on the edge of town! AT crew standing by. Here they come. Thanks. Company's finally arrived. It's about time, fellas. We started to think maybe you boys got locked. Yeah, well, we got a little hung up on the beach. Looks like the last of Able Company is all here. Baker and Dog Companies are about an hour out. We should have forces from both the beach to join us by nightfall. The U.S. First Army is marching north up the Cotonin Peninsula. 
so securing a supply line to Cherbourg is our new objective. It's been codenamed the Red Ball Express. Abel and Dog companies will penetrate down this road as far as possible and secure it. During the advance, our flanks will be exposed. This area has a lot of walled courtyards and hedgerows, so watch for ambush. Extend the advance. All right, we'd better go bail their asses out. Dog, this is Abel. Hang in there, Bishop. We're on our way. Saddle up, people. We're moving out. Express meant priority freight. Lots of it. We must have trucked a million tons of supplies up that goddamn road. But Jerry wasn't about to let his keyport city go without a fight. And fight he did. The 9th and 79th will be making the attack from the south, supported by the 4th Cav. Abel and Dog Companies will be central to the assault, striking directly at the main docks. This will be the most heavily defended part of the city. We can expect some heavy resistance. Front getting shot at first. No, Johnson, it's not Abel, it's just you up front getting shot at first. Shut up! You're gonna get us all killed. Artillery support is waiting the get-go. All right, keep moving. That's it, let's go. That's right, Fritz, war's over, let's go. Sergeant Conti. HQ has something special for us. We're moving out.
I've been told we captured over 40,000 German prisoners in Cherbourg. It was hard to accept that we fought so hard for this port, and all we got was a huge ruin. The Germans had destroyed it so badly that it was months before we could use it. Taking the city did have its perks, though. Hidden in a bunker, we found secret Nazi documents. Here are schematics of the actual V-2 rocket itself. The launch base is hidden in a valley to the south near the town of Sadovast. It appears to be half buried in the hillside and is still under construction. The launch platform itself is heavily defended, ruling out a direct bomber strike. Therefore, this will be an airborne operation. After nightfall, we will land paratroopers within the perimeter walls of the base and assault the launch platform on foot. This is a highly dangerous mission. Godspeed. It was disturbing to see how far advanced the Nazi war machine had come. Smart as our guys were, we had nothing like this. With Cherbourg secured, Supreme Allied Command has identified our next priority, the crossroad town of St. Lo. Now the only place we can cross the River Veer is right here. Unfortunately, we have very limited intelligence on this area. Abel Company will move in after dawn. We have lost contact with Charlie Company. Their orders were to take Hill 192. They failed. We know that the Elite Panzer Lair Division has been assigned to defend St. Lo. Panzer Ace Joseph Gunter Schultz has been spotted in the area. Before we can take St. Lo, Abel Company needs to capture Hill 192. What's the matter, Franks? 
Ever seen a dead body before? Now that we have Hill 192, we are in position to take St. Lowe. Recon indicates the town is already in very bad shape, and the Germans are going to be dug in deep. There will be a lot of cover and obstacles in this terrain. Flyboys. They won't get far. Air Force carpet bombed the Panzer Lair Division to the brink of extinction. Surviving Panther tanks are withdrawing. Abel Company, supported by the 4th Cav, will be pursuing them. To counter the heavily armored Panther tanks, we've been supplied with M10 tank destroyers. The area is not secure. Set up a defensive perimeter now. Spencer. Kant, just the man I need to talk to. All right. Ziel, Amerikanische Offiziere. Six, two, three, Grad. Feuern Sie, wenn Sie wollen.
medic! We need a fucking medic! Some officers never earn your respect. Captain McKay had mine from day one. Boot camp, Fort Riley, Kansas. I knew he'd keep us alive. We're being redeployed off the front lines to the town of Mortain. We will relieve Dog Company, who are holding Hill 317. Lieutenant Conti is now in command. Hey, listen, Conti. Sorry about McKay. I heard you guys served together since boot camp back in Kansas. Try and get some R and R in this hill. Should be a piece of cake. Taggart, let's go. Franks, this hole ain't gonna dig itself. Get your ass over here. Hey, can you see something out there? I thought I saw something. Captain Schultz survived the destruction of the Panzer Lair Division. Battle reports show his Tiger Group and has knocked out 17 Allied tanks and destroyed Baker Company. With those Tigers in position, we can't cut off the German retreat. He must be removed.
300,000 strong German 7th Army is in full retreat. Our objective is to cut them off and prevent them from crossing the Rhine and setting up a defensive line. British, Canadian, and Polish forces are moving in from the north. U.S. divisions led by Able Company will seal the pocket from the south. Having achieved air superiority, we can strike the retreating German convoys at will. All of what we have achieved since D-Day now hangs in the balance. If we prevail, the fate of the German army will be sealed, and the war for Europe will be won. liberate this French wine. Good to see you, sir. <laughs> hey, how come they get to celebrate and we get stuck with this bum job? Relax, Tagger. Let them have their fun. They earned it. Besides, look at all these new friends you have. You just have to get to know them better, that's all. 